नॉन इक्विलिब्रेटेड कॉलम और नॉन इक्विलिब्रेटेड एच पी एल सी सिस्टम कैन रिजल्ट इन टू ए लॉट ऑफ टाइम वेस्ट सो इन केस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेव यूर टाइम इन केस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव द रिप्रोड्यूसिबल रिटेंशन टाइम एंड रिक्वायर्ड रिजोल्यूशन प्रोबेबली अकॉर्डिंग टू यूर स्टैंडर्ड टेस्ट प्रोसीजर the column equilibration and hplc system equilibration is also equally important it is not only important to prepare your mobile phase uh, with lot of precautions but you must also understand how one can equilibrate your column plus hplc system so as a part of this video we will try to understand you know how one can equilibrate the hplc system plus the hplc column so that you will not end up getting the lot of retention time variation or peak distortion or the poor resolution so let us begin with this video now we will start our discussion with equilibration of the column for reverse phase mode or even for the normal phase mode so the procedure remains one and the same whether you are using the column in reverse phase mode or in normal phase mode so first in case your mobile phase contain the additives or the buffer so if you are using i mean the first point is what if the mobile phase does not contain the buffer or the additives additives may be like, like triethyl amine as an additive or tfa can be used as an additive the buffer may be what the sodium phosphate can be the buffer so in case if there are no such buffer or additive now this point can be used for the column equilibration so equilibrate the column with mobile phase for 30 minutes i am assuming that this is not the new column isn't it in case if it is a new column then first you need to run the column in the shipping solvent and the shipping solvent can be the mobile phase probably used during the analysis for during the column evaluation or the column qualification by the manufacturer so understand that what is the shipping solvent and you need to run the column by using the shipping solvent at least for 1 hour with the with the low flow rate maybe uh, you can start with 0.25 ml per minute and you can go until 0.5 ml per minute for 60 minutes in your shipping solvent so this is only applicable for the new column but in case if you are not using the new column the column has been used for the analysis during that time you use the column you equilibrate the column just by using the mobile phase for 30 minutes right and i am talking about in case if your mobile phase does not contain buffer or the additives so what is the end points how you are going to confirm that yes now my column and system is properly equilibrated this is the point column may be considered equilibrated if steady back pressure and baseline are observed so these two are the indicators of your column equilibration or your system equilibration so in case if there is no pressure uh, fluctuation there is no baseline fluctuation then you can assume that now my column and system has got properly equilibrated and you can start with your system uh, analysis part the second important point in case if the mobile phase contain buffer or additives so you have a, a sodium phosphate or if your mobile phase contain additives like tfa triethyl amine or even sometimes salt etc what you supposed to do for the column equilibration equilibrate the column and system with a water organic solvent mixture using the same content as in the buffered mobile phase so as i said let us take an example of uh, the mobile phase containing 20% acn and then the 80% rest could be the buffered aqueous portion right so you remove the buffer from the aqueous portion and you just make the mixture of 20% sn in water and then equilibrate the column for 30 minutes so what essentially you are doing you are just removing the buffer or additive from the mobile phase 
you are just preparing a mixture of organic solvent plus water and then you are equilibrating the column for 30 minutes this is the first step in the second step you prepare your mobile phase which is containing now the buffer or maybe containing additives and then equilibrate the column by using that buffered mobile phase with the actual uh, concentration of organic solvent buffer water your additives etc whatever it may be add and make the mobile phase and equilibrate the column for again for 30 minutes so you need to equal equilibrate the column for how many hour or how many minute 30 minutes followed by 30 minutes you can look at the presentation right so once this is done and the column may be considered equilibrated once a steady column back pressure and baseline are observed so always remember that you need to observe the column back pressure continuously you need to observe the baseline fluctuation continuously if there is no back pressure fluctuation if your baseline is looks to be steady then you can go ahead with the analysis very important note please don't ignore this point check the manufacturer's recommendation if any right so in case if manufacturer has given some another recommendation on maybe column equilibration or maybe the column storage etc understand the compatibility of the column storage solvent with your current mobile phase or the composition okay it certainly doesn't happen for the reverse phase chromatography most of the times we may store the solvent in organic solvent like maybe acn or methanol isn't it without any amount of water without any amount of salt or the buffer but in case if your column is some, something which is very unique and has some storage solvent which is not compatible with this procedure you need to follow your manufacturer's recommendation i hope you are clear on this important advice let us now understand you know in case if you are having the normal phase column but you are also intended to use that normal phase column in the reverse phase mode you must have seen like the nitrile column or amino columns they are used in both the modes means in normal phase mode also and in the reverse phase mode so in case if you have such column in the hand how you are going to determine the equilibration procedure how you are going to determine the column equilibration steps so as i said that the few normal phase columns can be used for both normal phase and the reverse phase separation isn't it so these columns are originally shipped in non aqueous solvent maybe in the exane hexane or ipa methanol etc and are ready to use and are ready to use for the normal phase condition right they are preferably uh, shipped with the intention that the column will be used for the normal phase mode but sometimes that may not be the situation so if you intend to use the column for a reverse phase separation you will require to condition the column with the procedure described in the next few, few slides so please look into the slides very carefully flush the column and system with isopropyl alcohol ipa stands for the isopropyl alcohol at maybe 0.5 ml per minute let us say for 60 minutes so what is the intention behind using the ipa See, the IPA is the intermediary solvent. That means it has the intermediate polarity and it can get miscible with highly non-porous solvent like hexane, dichloromethane, as well as the polar solvent like methanol and acetonitrile. So in case if your column has been shipped in hexane, hmm, or suppose if your last analysis uh, you have conducted in the normal phase mode, and uh, you have stored the column in the hexane so if you immediately start running column into the reverse phase mode which is containing methanol and water will there be a miscibility of your methanol water with the hexane 
certainly not and you can unnecessarily complicate the situation inside the column so to avoid this uh, immiscibility of the reverse phase solvent with the normal phase solvent you first equilibrate the column flush the column with the isopropyl alcohol because the moment your column has been flushed with the isopropyl alcohol whatever may be the hexane or dichloromethane present into a column will just carry it out of the column isn't it and now your mobile phase containing let us say methanol so does methanol has a miscibility with ipa now certainly yes so the first step is what you need to replace the non polar solvent which may be the shipping solvent inside the column by the intermediary solvent like isopropyl alcohol if the mobile phase contains buffers or additives equilibrate the column and system with a water organic solvent mixture using the same content as in the buffered mobile phase so you are not going to use this uh, buffer or additives during the second step you just remove that buffer and additives from the rest of the mobile phase but retain the composition of the organic solvent and the aqueous part similarly i hope you understand from our previous slide so for example equilibrate the column and system with 90% as acn in water at 0.5 ml per minute flow rate for at least 60 minutes 90% acn so what is the rational for saying 90% acn because your mobile phase contain 90% acn and plus 10% some aqueous buffer so in the next step now or in the third step then introduce the uh, column uh, with the mobile phase with the actual mobile phase containing 90% acn and now 10% your buffered mobile phase so there are three important stages in case if you want to use the normal phase column for the reverse mode ipa equilibration then the equilibration with without buffer and then equilibration with the buffer the column may be considered equilibrated once a steady column back pressure and baseline are observed this is the same in point across all the columns isn't it steady back pressure and steady baseline important note as i said in the last uh, slides also check the manufacturer's recommendation if any for the column storage or for the column equilibration thank you so much